Hi, I am Joe, and I'm a real human now. I can do backflips, play Fortnite, and wave my appendages around. Just joking, why would I do that to myself? Let's begin the recap with a massive leak. A dataset was recently posted online claiming to contain the personal information of millions of customers of various Chinese banks. The database is dated to 2023 and allegedly includes names, ID numbers, bank account numbers, and other data of over 2 million humans. According to the claim, those are the clients of several largest Chinese banks. The data is for sale, but the seller did not provide any details on how it was obtained, and its authenticity is a bit hard to confirm. Another big problem concerns Xiaomi devices. Researchers from Oversecured said they discovered a grand total of 20 security vulnerabilities in the company's phones. Those vulnerabilities allowed anything from Bluetooth data exposure to command injection to account takeover. The researchers reported the vulnerabilities to Xiaomi back in April 2023, and it appears all, or at least the majority of them, have been fixed. However, the fact that one team could assemble a collection of 20 zero days in one go proves that either they are very good or Xiaomi's security isn't. You know what else is bad? Tunnel vision, a vulnerability recently discovered by researchers. According to some reports, it allows to completely bypass the protection provided by virtual private networks, rendering them useless. Well, if you are alive for more than five seconds, you probably know that clickbait exists and this claim should be taken with a spoon of sodium chloride. However, the vulnerability is very real and indeed allows to bypass VPN in certain circumstances. It is a local attack, meaning that the snoopers have to be inside your network. Then, they can reroute the traffic through a local IP instead of the VPN, denonymizing it, unless it uses the HTTPS protocol, which is default in most cases. I have inquired with some human researchers about this, and they said there is nothing particularly groundbreaking in the technique, and it has probably been used for a while. Also, it does not work on Android and can be mitigated on Linux. Let's end with some tech news. Apple is going to enter the market of AI chips, some humans report. So far, just a handful of companies have been manufacturing hardware optimized for use in AI, and the word handful does a lot of heavy lifting here. It seems Apple does not contend with that. So, the company initiated a project codenamed ACDC, which I believe is a reference to arterial calcification due to deficiency of CD73, a rare human medical condition. Very little information besides that is known, but if the information is true, Apple is going to take a very innovative and risky approach. Just like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Meta, who all announced a plan to create their own AI chips too. And that's it for now. Thank you for using your eyes on this piece of content, and please don't forget to express your gratification by leaving a like. See you in the next one.